Good morning, everyone. I'm Mike B, and you're watching The Illest Lines. All right, what's good, everybody? This is Daniel Anthony. So this is The Illest Lines, where we talk about our favorite lines from certain songs, and today's episode is featuring my B fam, my brother uh, from way back, Mike B. Morning, everyone. Thanks for having me on the Illus Lines, Dick D. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, man, just to kind of give a uh, you know everybody a little little bit of a rundown history lesson on on us, we met in the seventh grade. Now, this is like 1980, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, how how much of that do you remember? You know, I, I remember me and you connecting uh, back in the days when we was, uh, I think it was Woodrow, Woodrow Wilson, right? Yeah, Wilson Middle School in Dago. You know, I'm sure your viewers know that you're very talented yourself. So me and me and Daniel, clicked right away, you know, we were singing through the hallway, you know, just singing Prince. <laughs> so we just connected, <laughs> man. And it was just a missing vibe. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. One one of the things I, I've always remembered, including like not just that that year, because I was only there for about a year, but even afterwards, you know, my my I was kind of timid when it came to singing, you know. And I don't know if you remember that, but I always used to sing in my falsetto. I always used to, always used to sing a little low. And I always attribute, even though you know, obviously I attribute, you know, what I what I got from my parents because they were musically inclined as well. But you guys, you and your brother Steven, you guys were like the first ones to like really help encourage me the way that you did, you know what I mean? And, and helping me get out of being timid about it. You know, you guys, like I saw how, how you guys were like real confident and, and uh, you know, you weren't like, you weren't like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm the best singer in the school. You know, you guys were just real confident in what you guys did. And that always stuck with me throughout the years. And I always remember that even when it came time for me to actually do something. You know what I mean? So that's something I'm not even sure if I even shared that with you guys before, but you guys were like no, no. two of the two of the best singers that I had ever met, especially at that time, you know what I mean? So it's it awesome, it's awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that, man. That's beautiful because I mean, you know, obviously, you know, the gift to sing was already instilled in your heart and in our hearts. So yeah. there was just a connection, man. And I appreciate that because, you know, yeah, man. anything, you know, when you when you want to be around other people that, that share the same interests, man, it just creates a, a passion and a relationship. So, Oh, man, most definitely. Most definitely. Know? And then we didn't even, uh, we, we lost contact for years. Yeah. Like, we missed everything, like high school, uh, <laughs> but yeah, like we missed a whole lot of years. And then I remember reaching out to you guys, I think it was on Facebook in 2014, I believe it was. And ever since then, I've been like, you know, real, real glad to see that you guys kept pushing at it. And I remember um, finding, I think it was, I don't remember the name of the song, but it was a video that you guys did uh, when you guys were back to back. Oh, kind of um, like a little boy bandish kind of thing, right? Yeah, it was a video. Um, so my twin and I got signed back in uh, 1999, and then we had to go to that whole artist development. And back then, right. you know, um, technology was there, but it wasn't like now where everything is about Instagram, my, right. you know, Facebook. Um, Facebook, <laughs> right? Right. And, um, you know, we we got a uh, we got blessed to have an opportunity from. Uh, he played for the Boston Celtics, Eric Williams. Uh, oh, okay. He was started an independent label, and it just so happened that um, our manager at the time, Shamar Slade, shout out, um, he just right. pitched it, and he, he loved the sound, the look, and from there we started it off. But I mean, you know, um, I always like to say because you know it, it didn't turn out the way that that we had dreamed out, you know, dreamed it to, to turn out. But we got right. a chance to be a part of the industry for about a good five years, and. Um, you know, the truth be told is that, um, you know, if there's professionals and then there's the professional snakes and the people knew right. that Eric Williams had no experience in the industry. Right. But we had these people that were coming along that, that either were A&R from like Capitol Records or Sony and, and they're, they, they were no longer with them. They had the knowledge, but right. they also had 
they you know they also had they were money driven and so they seen that they could take advantage of Eric. Oh right, long, right. Yeah, that's what happened. I mean, we we wow. did our thing for a while, but it, it just became like he was throwing more money out from trying to get right. these people out than seeing results, something like that. But yeah, they created a video. It, it was called "Didn't Mean to Make You Cry," and you know me and my twin brother, we just did our best. But looking back now, I realized that guy was never in the center of it all. You know, right. it was more about us trying to sell CDs and what does it Make look it like? I'm right. Doing? right. You know, trying to get the, you know, trying to get on Billboard, on SoundScan, how many CDs were being distributed, and 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 uh, and God took it all away from us like this, right? Because when you got a millionaire that's feeding into that, you guys are gonna make it for five to right. six years, and you're living under like kids crumbs, it changes your your perspective on everything. Oh, like, yeah. man, like we're gonna make it, but um, God had other plans, man, and I think He saved our souls. And you know, you know, leading to where we're at today. I mean, I mean, as you know, I sing with church. I sing at a church out right. here in a little bit called Bonita Valley Community mm -hmm. Church under Jeff uh, Bronner. He's our head pastor, and I mean, that's where everything just changed for me. The music changed my outlook on the stuff. You know, my right. wife led me to church. It, it just everything completely did a U-turn. So it wasn't mm -hmm. about how many CDs I could sell. It was about how many souls, how many lives we could try to right. save. Right. Right. That's amazing. So you said that that uh, your wife Linda, shout out, um, yeah. uh, led you to uh, to Christ. Yes, it was just a beautiful thing. Like the best gift that she could have ever gave me when we first yeah. started was she led me to Christ. She said we're going to go to church, and I was thinking like, hmm, this is a new one. Right. And, um, <laughs> and it was a beautiful thing because I had you know God will use people and plant seeds in them to guide someone else. Mm -hmm. You know. And that's what he did. And I remember sitting there at the church and seeing the message and the worship team. And I, and I remember leaning over at my wife saying, hey, you think I can get up there and, and do that? <laughs> and I was, still, I was, you know, I'm still thinking like singing, like, you know, entertaining. And I remember she right, said, you right. can, but you can't be up there to entertain. This has to be out in this people. I apologize. Say, say that one more time. She said that you, you couldn't be up there entertaining, that you had to be what? singing to an audience of one right which is the father god and to not take the experience that i had when i was my twin and i shout out to steven yeah, um, yeah. steve Steve. <laughs> um it's not about entertaining that way it's about singing for the lord and singing from your heart being transparent and um i mean now i've been singing with bonita valley community church for about seven years and i'm, I'm truly blessed wow. that, that God is, has given me the gift and i'm using for his glory and you know it's to prepare for the message the, the worship everything mm -hmm. I'm just allowing him to use me you know and I'm, right, I'm right. grateful man it, it's funny how um I think this is part of the reason why we gravitated towards each other even back then because that is pretty much specifically almost to a T my same story because back in 04 is when I would say it started in 03 when my wife was like starting to go to church without me and uh, you know I'm, I'm sitting at home wondering you know okay where's she at where's she going you know whatever but i was like all right didn't, didn't bother me none because i wasn't about going to church at that time when i started going it was pretty much the same thing you know it, it just it that that very first day it felt that there needed to be a change you know what i mean and i recognized it right away so it, it's funny that i mean even everything down to being on the praise team and everything like i was trying to like ease back because i didn't want to like feel like I was only going there for that reason but at the same time it was almost like how could you how could you like deny yourself that that moment of, of wanting to be able to do something now for a different purpose you know what I'm Absolutely. saying so that definitely helps so would you say that that's that's part of the the or not part of but that's the moment that you kind of crossed over from what you were doing before to gospel yeah because um I remember you know um you know, losing the record deal, years went by, trying to get my sanity back, trying to understand things because right. they, they prepared us for trying to make it big, but they never prepared us if it didn't happen, if right. we didn't make it. So yeah, that's why, no, nah. and that's why a lot of these singers or actors, they, they get to a certain level in their career and then it falls apart and draws. And then all of a sudden they either turn to addiction, they could go through a depression, right. God forbid some of them take their own lives, commit suicide. And so there's something that, that that happens within you and you're trying to figure out like why am I feeling this way I, right. I remember everyone used to like you know 
be excited to see me now all of a sudden it's like I'm I, you feel like you're a nobody but having my wife lead me was was a big change of it all because I remember I went through a phase of singing karaoke and Mr. Daniel right. we have done karaoke right. with you and Steve <laughs> yeah. and that was fun you know, man I, I swear like that even though that was I think that was the last time that we saw each other it was it was like man like it seemed like all the years that had gone by before that that time that we went out it was like man it all just like came to a head like we never really had that opportunity to perform with each other or you know perform sing whatever you want to call it um you know before at all so that was that was amazing it was, it was cool you know what i mean i was i was glad that we finally got a chance to do that actually the last time i saw you uh, my wife and i went to go support you you were singing out here at the dome oh, right Right. And uh, you know, we picked up your CD, and I was bragging to my wife, "That's, that's my child, <laughs> man!" And like he's singing for God, and 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 just so you know, uh, you know, you also inspired me, man. I looked up to you, and and when you know when you were all in, you was all in. I know that you know you and I talked over the years that we want to try to work on something, and I know that's gonna come to pass. But um, oh, yeah. you know, you definitely encouraged me and inspired me too, Daniel. And I want to let you know Appreciate that. And, that man. The way you are with your wife is, is most important. It, it, it touches my heart, man, because you know what God says about how we're supposed to love our wives the way he right. loves the church. And right. I admire them because, you know, a marriage is very important. So mm -hmm. we can be happy men because we have yeah. happy marriages and, and our wives are, are happy. And, and it's just, it's all God based and in the center of it all. So I, I wanted to, you know, give you some love on that too, man. man. I appreciate that, man. <laughs> appreciate that indeed, man. Mm -hmm. um, so, now we gotta talk about circles. I'm searching for miracles. I'm running in circles. I don't wanna lose Circles, I, I remember telling you recently that circles has to me a certain type of vibe that's pretty much equivalent to make me over from Tone A. Oh, it, Tone it's a. one of those like starting from the beginning and I wanted to find out like was that like where you were when you were creating this actually to be honest with you man it was completely all God because I know after releasing the song wanting you that I wrote from my wife um I wasn't for sure what kind of song I was gonna write oh okay you know? and I remember um looking for beats and I, there was these two tracks that I found and I was vibing into it and I just kept going back and forth. And like a week later, uh, the Beats of Circles, uh, shout out to Pacific Beats, uh, who created that amazing beat. Um, yeah, it yeah. spoke to me. And yeah. I remember listening to it and I, I got really emotional when tears came out. And, and it was like God was telling me, this is the one right. that you need to lose. And I didn't even have no words, as I said, I didn't even know what it was going to be about. Right. All of a sudden, you know, I just felt this this urge to like write something that I know that the world needs to hear and it's all God based. But the way that he structured and gave me the words was I wanted to captivate people who don't did don't even believe in God, but guide them and lead them. And then the set in the middle of the song when I said, you know, I need, you know, Jesus, you know, I'm reaching for you and for you alone. You know, that's, you know, that's the kicker right there because right now, as you know, D, we're all going through this crazy times right now in this world. Man, right? You know, and, you know, um, where do we turn? And so I got that song, Bits and Pieces, probably within a month to a month and a half, God was just giving me these words. Right. And I'm, I am I was there at work, I drive a trash truck for a living, so I remember pulling the trash truck over right. and I, like the first, you know, the first verse was, every tear has a story to tell and when i heard that come to my mind i was like oh let me pull over and see if this matches right. so he was putting it all together right before my heart and my eyes and then right. the final product was i mean i was just in tears the whole time because i knew that this really wasn't me sitting down trying to say or write things clever right. this was completely god's words and and he's he's using my gift that he blessed me with to bring it to life right and i think and, I, and I'm thankful and I thank God in advance. It's getting the attention that it is because yeah. this is one of those songs where we've all been through something, whether it's oh, yeah. addiction, mm -hmm. whether it's falling short of the glory of the God, whether it's we're going through marital issues, abuse, um, suicidal thoughts. This right here, like for everyone who's still waking up breathing, God still has plans and hopes for you because he's breathing oh, yeah. life in our right now. Amen. Right, right. That's right. That's right. So, 
you know, I got I gotta say, as far as, as far as for for me, the, the illest line in this song is the uh, um, the second verse. Yeah, you see right through my heart. This is my brand new start, and this is where the healing begins. Like that's part of what, yeah, man, that's part of what made me think of. A make me over kind of song because it's like that that first day it took me back to that first day in 04 when i got saved you know you, you start hearing the the pastor and i wasn't really into listening to pastors at all during that time you know what i mean but there was something about uh the pastor at that time uh pastor harper shout out to him um he had a way of speaking to you that was almost as if you were listening to god himself you know what yeah. I mean? And it was such a blessing to hear him talk, you know, and then to hear his own testimony. So that that's where that took me back to because that was where my human began. And that's where I felt like this is this is this brand new start that I know that I can make. So is that is that something that you think that you were feeling during that time writing this particular line, or was there something, you know, a little bit more simple to it? Along the lines of what she was saying, but adding um, is that when a lot of times in the flesh, we get caught up on, on how we're looking, um, how many likes we get, um, right. how big is our bank account compared to someone's little, how big is our house, you know, what kind of car we're driving. Mm -hmm. And that that part of the song that, that I wanted to let people know is God don't see none of that. He right. sees only what's in our truest heart. Right, and he will remove all of that. Absolutely, we ain't taking it. We ain't taking no U-Haul to heaven anyway. So nope. <laughs> <laughs> we're leaving right. it all behind. So right. I just wanted to let people know that, like, you know, it's really what's in our heart. He he lives within us, so he knows right. exactly what we're gonna say or think before we even think it. So oh, yeah. that's where that came from, I just wanted to, you know put it in a way where people can understand that it don't matter what we have here on Earth, the materialistic things. It's right. it's what's in the spiritual. It's what's in our heart. You yeah, know, most you know, definitely. Yeah, man, and I'm telling you that even even when you sent the song to me in person, I got I got to tell you, it it made me feel um, honored when you sent it to me before you had had released it. The only right example away. that I can give to that is it's like um, you know, I know you're my brother, and I know that that you would understand, you know, we're we're right. surrendered, we're serving the same God, mm -hmm. you know. I mean? It's like uh, you know you have an issue at home, and you tr and, and you may, let's say you're feuding with the family, the wifey, and you go get advice for someone who's not going to give you the right godly advice. That can right. hurt you. Right. So speaking of uh, the music, then, so how much more music are, are we going to hear from you? And what do you think that? What direction do you want to go now that you've got circles out? And do you, are you gonna? Are you planning on doing anything that's more of a you know, concept album, or you just wanted to do whatever, you know, type of songs that God gives you. So, you know, let's talk about that. Okay. You said it best right now. Um, right now, I'm just let I'm, I'm, I'm giving all the glory to God and I'm allowing him to lead me. Um, I know that I do want to put more music out there, but it, but I want to feel it. I want it to be like circles. Right. I want it to be God driven and I want it to touch and save lives. So yeah, I do want to do more music. But, you know, it's, I, I want God to lead me, you know, as right. he has and we want those, you know, I want those doors to open, but more so importantly, I want those hearts to open with the type right. of songs right. that we're doing there. So, and also I want to give a shout out to, I don't know if you got a chance to see the video. Um, yes. My boy, Richie Van Buren, I have to give it up to him. Um, he actually had the concept um, and we discussed the simplicity Right. of the video as well as the words when people mm -hmm. get a chance to go back and listen to the words it's the simplicity right. of it all that touches and resonates with hearts um you know uh the simplicity of the gospel is important you know i understand like you know the mega churches you know sometimes we you know we get into the fog and the lights and you mm -hmm. know but it really all comes down to the simplicity of things and the gospel and so it was very important that we created something that that was gonna lead people and right. that was gonna move with the song perfectly because it's not about me. It was about right. the message of God and trying to lead people to the man above. 
Um, right. Right. And through this whole process, Daniel, just in closing, like with this whole project, I mean, I cried the whole time because I felt it in my heart and God was making this a reality. Like it starts within, but I was actually doing something to make it a reality. And I, I allowed God to, to guide me the whole way. And um, yeah. I'm very, very blessed and honored to have a song like this. And um, But I, I just really know who it comes from, you know? Yeah, man. That's right. And, you, you know, I, it, it always reminds me of when I've been told if it doesn't minister to you first, it won't minister to anyone else. And it has to oh, do with the, the spiritual intention that you have. You know, if you if your intention, like you were saying earlier, if your intention is just to write a bomb song and be witty with the lyrics and try to come up with, you know, literally the illest lines that you can, rather than just allowing God to spill the illest lines through you, then it's not going to happen the way that you want it to. You know, some people might like it. They might say, oh, that was a wicked line, blah, blah, blah. But now they're paying attention to the craft rather than cr paying attention to the creator. You know, man. So it's it's definitely, definitely something. It's, it's something, man, it's something great to see that. I just, I, I, my desire is for everyone to to see that. And that's something that I, I feel vibing through the music that you put out in regards to this song in particular, of course, but, you know, just I'm, I'm anxious and, and I can't wait for, you know, more music to come because, you know, that nice little spiritual uh, falsetto you got, <laughs> you know, but everything that you're doing is, is an attest, uh, excuse me, is a testament to what he has brought you through. That Amen. testimony in itself is going to touch the people that it's supposed to touch, whether it's one person or a thousand people, you know. Praise God. So, and then I can't can't wait to hear more, man, and be a part of it. Hopefully, you know, if if, if God leads. <laughs> you already know, Mr. Daniel. Yeah, man. So, last question I have, and I and I ask this question all the time. So, thinking back to any song, right? Uh, no matter what what type it was. What would you say was the illest line to you that made you want to step up either your game as a writer or step up your game as a singer? The first thing that pops into my mind and my heart is Michael Jackson, Man in the Mirror. Mm, man. Right. And that song has carried me through life. It spoke to my heart in so many ways. Me coming from uh, a family, my, my parents divorced when I was an early kid. Wow. Um, there, there was abuse and drugs. I didn't understand what was going on. I didn't have any. My dad left um, and married another family. Um, and I'm trying to figure all this out. So I know that like um, <laughs> when I put the Michael Jackson man in the mirror, it spoke so much to my heart, you know? Right. I'm looking at the man in the mirror, you know? And so I used to look at myself and, I, and not knowing at the time because, you know, my, my parents was doing their own thing. I, did, I didn't know too much about God. Right. When you listen to those words, that 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 song could be from God, you know, because we're, we're searching, at, looking at right. the man in the mirror, and that one spoke volumes to me. Just carried me through life, and 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 always made me want to feel like, like I can continue to be who I am and sing songs. Um, I can become somebody. I can break the cycle that that I grew up in and seeing, right. you know, as a child, you know, um, and. You know, like you said, you know, there was a gap between our friendship, you know, life moved on, we grew up, you know, had families and this and that. And But you know what? I truly believe that God has us exactly where we're supposed to be right now. Right. Most you definitely. know, and if we didn't go to those things that we went through in our past, you mm -hmm. know, couldn't learn from things. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta fall two or three times before you get it right. But you right. know, you back up, you know, That's and right. having a thank God for his, you know, his mercy and his grace, you know? Yeah. Most definitely. I can love dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> well, man, I, I got to tell you, I'm, I'm glad that we finally were able to have this chat. I appreciate you being on here with me. Um, before we go, though, let everybody know that where they can reach you on social media. Okay, so um, right now it's on my Instagram, uh, Mike B. Sangin. <laughs> That's S A N G I N G. And uh, I'm also on YouTube at uh, Michael Linda. Um, but just most importantly, man, you know, I just wanted to say thank you, you know, for taking the time uh, and reaching yeah. out. You know, God bless everybody. And I pray that, that this song, wherever it's supposed to reach, pierces your heart. You indeed, know? indeed. Everybody, make sure you go add the song to your playlist on Spotify. Go to Apple Music. Go to 
everywhere else that you can find it. Uh, again, it's called Circles. Released on October 28th uh, under yes, Mike B. Thank song. you. So. Matter of fact, this episode is going to air on that day. You're seeing this right now on the day that it's released. So go get it right after you listen to this. Go get it. Mike B., dude, I really appreciate you being on here with me. And much love and, and congratulations and just in general, let alone with this with the song. I pray that God continues to use you in the way that, that he's uh, going to use you. Thank you, D.R. Glory to God, my brother. I love you. Say hello yes, to the sir, family. Back at you, man. Thank you for having me on the Illest Lines. Yes, D. sir, man. All right, man. God bless you. Blessings. Peace. Peace.